Well, y'all, I have been vegan for one month now. So I thought we could talk about the pros and the cons. All right, first off, for me, there have been no cons. I've watched other vegan YouTubers talk about the social consequences of their choice to be vegan and how it impacts their social lives because when they go out with friends, it can make it difficult to find a place to eat. Well, I don't have that kind of social life, so I really don't have that problem. I don't go out to eat ever, 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 because that's not frugal. And if I did go out to eat and it wasn't a vegan-friendly restaurant, I would just order a salad. So the pros of going vegan, these are many. I was talking to my brother the other day, and he made this comment about how going vegan allowed me to feel superior to others. And I was all like, well, yeah, I am superior to others. Duh. Oh, all kidding aside, it does give you a certain peace of mind knowing that you're on the right track. Having this conviction that you're doing the right thing for your body, for the environment, for the animals. It's a win-win. Now in terms of the food itself, I have found it all delicious, completely delicious. I haven't really made anything I don't think that I didn't like. Everything's been great. It's been very enjoyable. I certainly have not gone without treats. I've been doing the banana oatmeal peanut butter cookies. In fact, I have some in the oven right now. Black bean brownies, of course. And the ice cream that's just made of food processor blended frozen bananas. That is a game changer. So definitely plenty of treats, plenty of food. I am not one to really let myself go hungry ever because I go mad. I just go mad when I'm hungry. So the food has been good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think for some people, the transition to veganism would be more challenging if they're going from being a full meat eater, omnivore, to being a vegan. But I've already been a vegetarian for a long time, so not that hard for me, really. Just It's just been a matter of giving up dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, dairy, uh, and and eggs, of course, and jello. So it really hasn't been particularly challenging. What's been great has been learning about new spices and seasonings. And the twinsies have been going vegan with me. It's been fun making meals for them. And then I say, oh, hey, how'd you like that hot dog? How'd you like that pizza? And they say, I loved it. And then I can say, well, that was vegan. So I'm getting to show them that they can still have all the foods they've traditionally loved and it still be vegan. And luckily last week, there was a fabulous sale on Gardein brand imitation meat products. They were on sale for $1.99 and there was a $1 off coupon online. So I really stocked up on those at 99 cents each. The girls love the fishless fish fillets. And I also got chicken patties and burgers and little mini vegan crab cakes, all sorts of little vegan deliciousness. Of course, it is possible to be an unhealthy vegan because French fries are going to be vegan unless they're being deep fried in lard and I don't know anybody who does that. There's lots of junky choices within the vegan rubric, but I'm trying to steer clear of those because I want to be a healthy vegan. So I'm really trying to stay away from refined sugar and junky snacks. I'm not eating potato chips. I wasn't eating potato chips before, so I'm not going to eat them now just because they're vegan. I've talked a lot about the new veganism with a friend at work, kind of trying to convince her to give it a shot as well. And she has watched some of the documentaries I've recommended, and, and then the next day she's all like, damn you Amy McCormick, now I have to go vegan because you made me watch that video about the, the slaughtered pigs with the pus coming out and the, you know, whatever. She's not as into it 
or the animal rights reasons or the environmental reasons or the you know inner health reasons she just wants to lose weight even though she's tiny like really tiny so she told me that she's read stuff online all these different vegans saying they gained weight when they became vegans and I find that not impossible to believe, but kind of hard to believe because when you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and you've given up meat and dairy and eggs and fatty, fatty, bad for you cheese, how are you gaining weight? What on earth would you be eating that you would actually gain weight when all those things have been taken out of your diet? I do not know. So that's her concern. So on that topic, I will say that in my four weeks of being vegan, I have lost four pounds and I have not been trying to lose weight. I have just been trying to be vegan, stick to the vegan. But I have not been worrying about, oh, I can't eat the vegan brownies. Oh, I'm not going to eat the whatever with the chickpea, whatever with the whatever. I haven't been restricting myself. I haven't been conscious of calories. I've just been sticking to vegan. So without trying, without feeling deprived, without going without treats, I've lost four pounds. Now, four pounds isn't the most amazing amount of weight, but for not even trying, it's better than not having lost four pounds in four weeks. So that's a good one. That's a pro. I also think one of the biggest benefits for me of being vegan is this sense of freedom. I have this sense of freedom. Now, some people would say, oh, that's weird because it's so restrictive. You're in a trap. You're in a cage. You're in the prison of veganism. Why would it make you feel free? But it does because it basically takes all the worry away from my food choices. As long as I'm sticking with what I have decided is acceptable for my healthy vegan regimen, then I have no stress about food. I have no anxiety about what I'm eating. I don't have any guilt. I don't indulge in something and then think, oh my God, I shouldn't have eaten that. I've blown everything and now I might as well finish the whole rest of it. There's none of that. Like if, if I eat a black bean brownie and then I go back for more black bean brownie, I don't feel guilty because I just think it's beans. And that is very significant to me because I have been in bondage to food and to my sugar addiction forever and just been tortured by food issues and weight issues and body image issues and self-esteem issues and a whole lot wrapped up with food, emotional eating and misery and trying to diet and you know, you know, you know. So to have that anxiety and worry and guilt and all those bad feelings just gone now because I just don't have to worry about them because I know what I'm going to eat. I'm just going to be vegan. I like it. I like the food. I feel mentally free. That is priceless and awesome. So after four weeks of being a vegan, yes, those are my thoughts. My thoughts are that it is fantastic and I don't experience the one drawback of having my social life impacted because well, quite frankly, this is my social life. You, you are my social life. So thanks for watching. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Click here to subscribe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Catch you later then. Mm-hmm, bye-bye. That's my Midwestern housewife. Bye-bye.